tomb of wisdom, the house of the hidden places, the gateway to the other world. I think the main thing that appealed to me about about the way he was talking about his new record was just the uh, ambition involved. It's a lot to do in a three hour session. I'd have booked a six hour session, but right. that's all they're available for. Is it? Yeah, they're full, because it's orchestral season starts yesterday. So like hunting season. We have like Kawani music, with, like an Egyptian percussionist. We have Siddhartha playing sitar. It's, um, it's pretty ambitious. It just sounded like <laughs> um, he was aiming to make a record like, like no other. I feel like I've been in a uh, in a bubble for the past three months, pretty much recording this album on a daily basis. It's just very clear that this album is going to be very eclectic and not a traditional house album. And in the process of the evolution, the human discover and create something for increase the love human. That is the dance and music. You know, we've basically been living on a like a, a ranch out of The Hobbit or something like that. You know, all the houses are, are made out of natural wood and built to kind of fit in with nature and the landscape. And by this amazingly crazy guy called Nemo. When does it burn exactly in the orgasm? When she's oh, singing and when she's dancing. I think Damien Lazarus is very, very weird. <laughs> yes. We have the power, we have the possibility to create madness. This album is very much related to nature and the rising of the sun and, uh, and the moon and the, and the cosmos above us. And uh, so, if you can imagine the most beautiful sunrise while you're playing this, that would be much appreciated. In their kind of diminishing bank accounts of record labels and that kind of thing, it's nice to find someone like Damien who's willing to spend a bit of money to get the Yucatan Symphony Orchestra to play some strings for him or things like that. I'm involved as the string arranger and writing out parts and I'm conducting today as well. We've got 26 strings and four horn, four French horns. He's almost like a like a, like a weird philanthropist. <laughs> I came through a lot of controversy to get to this point from my native jazz world. And so to have someone of his stature and respect level and expertise, more importantly, ask me to contribute my doings to his work is moving. There is an ancient yet futuristic vibe on this record. The ancient moons feels good. So, so there we have it. We are the ancient moons.